and a city without a fully functional infrastructural system will suffer a setback as such engineers must be well trained so that they can do their best to grow the nation from an infrastructural perspective. The managing director of Lagos Metropolitan Transport Authority, Lamata, engineer Bimbola Akinajo, stated this during her presentation at the 2022 alumni luncheon of the University of Lagos Faculty of Engineering Alumni Association. Plus, new, plus TV News correspondent Love Ikoko Yedoku tells us more. It was a reunion, a veritable networking opportunity for the alumni of the Faculty of Engineering, University of Lagos. It was also an avenue to give back to their alma mater through the launching of a 500 million naira fundraising project for the faculty. Away from that, Governor Babajide Sawunlu and the team cashed in on the opportunity provided by the reunion to tell the impact of the alumni on the state's infrastructural development in less than three years. And so the blue line you can see is a massive feat of engineering. And I'm sure all of you need to be proud of it. From four legs, we changed the design to ten legs. So we took a massive right of way to do ten legs and we were very smart to keep a rail corridor in the middle of it. So the, the alignment actually is about 16 lanes, because when you've done 10 lanes and you still have enough alignment to keep a rail you know, corridor, you know, was a main fit. You know, and that's why we were able to you know, preserve, and which was the most a difficult option to take. But because we were committed at that time to say, you know what, let's have the audacity to want to do it, and that's why you know, we started it. The four stations, Mile 2, Alaba, Igon 1, National Theatre, they're completed. You will notice that Mile 2 and Alaba, they have two concourses. Obviously, that's based on study, uh, studies that had been done to determine sort of uh, ridership that we would get. And we realized that, and, I mean, it's, it's, it's obvious. Mile 2 is a market area, so there's a lot of people there. So that's why we have two concourses that allows us to take on more passengers. It's the same thing in Igon uh, sorry, same thing in Alaba, Igomo and National Theatre are also completed. We have pedestrian bridges at each of those stations that allows us to bring passengers from one side of the expressway to the other. The managing director of Lagos Metropolitan Area Transport Authority, Lamata, spoke with journalists on the sideline of the event. Infrastructure is owned by all, so it means that as an individual, you have a responsibility. Something has been built, not to destroy it, not to vandalize it. And so therefore, people also need to be aware and also take ownership. And that's what I always say. If something belongs to you, you are not likely to go and destroy it. She also told the forum that over 5,000 people affected by the construction of the rail have been compensated by the Lagos state government. From Lagos, Love Ikuku Uyedoku. Plus TV News. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.